so we had a secret shopper, Greg Gorey. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, you went to what? How many places? Just one? I went to Michael's, and, and I have two Michael's in my neighborhood. I went to the less desirable one. <laughs> <laughs> the hood one? Yeah. Which, to Greg, is all of them. Yeah. And, and I, I'm not good at being a secret shopper because within, I would say, five minutes, they were kind of following me around because I was taking pictures with everything, uh. and I think I, I'm not very good at being secretive. Well, the reason he chose Michael's is because Greg has had- I frequented there in the past to get paints. And, right. and Michael's serves a purpose. We can get into this later. They definitely serve a purpose. It's not one of those things that is just tacky crap. Like, there, there's a reason to go there. <laughs> okay. Yes. There's a reason to go there. Yeah. But the filler, the non-essential, ah. like, oh, I need this for painting. I need that for whether you're into it or not, crocheting or knitting. Right. But you don't need a 4th of July wreath with 800 phrases on it made oh, yeah, out of do. phony flowers. <laughs> but they and I'm a wreath fan. Yeah. He's yeah, and Greg <laughs> loves a wreath. And I'm a wreath fan. He's yeah. taste shaming basic bitches, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And I can't wait to share one thing that I was <laughs> shocked to witness. Okay. So okay. it's clear eye for the straight woman. Yeah. There was, a, <laughs> there was a, an idea that came up in one of our meetings that said, you know, because Greg's talked about this Michael's thing before, like, Ugh. who buys this crap, right? Oh, yeah. Exactly. So, to, to send Greg in and find some really prime examples of who buys this crap. Yeah. So Greg Gorey's secret shopper. And it's the most time I've ever spent inside of Michael's, and I got to see people browsing this stuff, picking it up, looking at prices, and considering buying it. <laughs> yeah. What insane people are these? Yeah. Who are these people? Yeah. The Woody Show. Yeah. So we sent uh, <laughs> yeah. that guy, yeah, yeah. Greg yeah. Gorey. Yeah. <laughs> Out to, uh, in this particular case, Michael's. Michael's, the arts and crafts store. Yeah. Not, uh, not Greg's favorite place. It's not. I've been there many times uh, to get paint paint brushes and random stuff like that. Oh yeah, you're a painter now. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I've made one entire painting. So is that uh is that going to be your go-to place for the paints? Or? Probably. I would cuz I would think there are probably like even better stores I'm when sure it comes there to are. for what you're Hobby doing. Lobby, I'm, yeah. I'm sure there are. Like if my daughter wants to paint something, I take her to Michaels. Yeah. 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 And I'm sure there's some uh, many choices. There's one not far from where I live, so I'll just run in, grab what I need and go out. But I actually spent some time at a Michaels to Look at the people. Browsing. Look mm-hmm. at look. Do some browsing, and like yep. I said, they have paints, craft stuff, yarn, yeah. stickers. Yeah, because your bone to pick with them is all this other crap. It's all the other crap. They serve a purpose, and I assume if you're a teacher, you're doing a project, that it's a great place to go. Or if you're mean, you want to paint, it's a great place to go. But other than the useful, let's call it arts and hobby and craft stuff. Yeah, Michaels, I realize falls into basically three categories. Utterly cheap looking, but not inexpensive indoor decor. Uh, utterly over the top and tacky outdoor decor. And stuff with words. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the <laughs> sign game. I thought oh, about this weekend. I was at an Airbnb. My God. And they had a little nook. There was yeah. a bar nook. Yeah. And they had a, they had a made out of, I guess, wood. It just said martini. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is where you make martinis. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. What, what is it about straight women that said, you know what, I need a, a sign. sign, things a sign with words. Of, to, of a thing uh, I drink. And I think that's, and that's like art or interesting or decor somehow, Greg? Yeah. It is a phenomenon that I can't wrap my brain around. So when I walked into this particular Michaels that I went to, I have two, and this was the more ghetto one. Um, I, the first stop I wanted to make was, and I was going to call it the fake plant section. Uh-huh. That would be incorrect. I would call it the fake flower section. Oh, okay. Oh, those are so bad. And they're so <laughs> tacky. Yeah. And I thought, okay, nobody buys this stuff. It's just filler. What did I see? The nanosecond I get there, somebody browsing in the fake just flowers. Just checking yeah. out the fake flowers. And what do you have a, your own packet there? What is she wearing? I guess what she considers fancy when women oh. cut out the shoulder of a top <laughs> yeah. oh. and she has it emblazoned with some sort of diamondy looking that strap. Is, that yeah. is a lovely top. And then yeah. leggings with some sort of fluorescent blue. <laughs> she looks like she could be a dance instructor. Flowy on top. Dance moms or something. And like bad highlighty sort of blonde streaks. Right. So this she is She does a, look like a mom who is probably part of like uh, her daughter's, you know, dance class. Dance yeah. moms. Exactly. Because these aren't even I wouldn't even call these flowers. These look like feathers. Yeah. It's kind of like a feather and I was thinking yeah. I'm going to pick out the ugliest one I can find and I thought, "Oh yeah. crap, somebody's already looking at it." Ah. And uh-huh. I thought she's not going to buy them. She bought a handful of bunches <laughs> and if you flip the page you'll see that okay. was my example of what I considered to be the ugliest okay. feathery flower thing. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah. How much was it? One stem. 
right. $14.99. Yeah. Wow. And she bought she a, a ton handful. of these. And wow. what do you do with that? You just take it to your house, put it in a vase somewhere in a corner? Yeah, I mean, the because this is like a cream color. There are actually ones that are popular that look, that are very beige color. You can put a bunch of different um, beige colored kind of flowers and feathers all in a vase. And I've seen it at people's houses and that's pretty yeah. cute. That's for oh, your okay. white room. It would Where, name is caping white. up. It yeah, would, yeah. This is, okay, attention boring housewives. You have someone on your side. It would collect <laughs> dust within three days. I thought of one uh, yeah. use for these things. Vegas showgirls. Don't they wear like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah. I don't think the yeah. Vegas muckety mucks are shopping at Michael's. I do also need to um, defend Michael's a little bit in the sense that things are always on sale there. Always. So when you see that it's $15 for this bunch of feathers, it's not. I can see in the background 50% off. Everything is always on sale. Yeah, because they never yeah. have the real prices up there. Right, exactly. Right. exactly. Uh, it's otherwise, no one's going to buy this stuff. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. How else are they going to move this crap? Right. Uh, <laughs> what else did you find there, We're, we're going to rifle through to the next one, which is a bag of wooden mushrooms. <laughs> I wooden thought it. Mushroom. <laughs> All right, here you go, Vaughn. Check it, it out. There's oh, the uh, wooden yeah. mushrooms. It looks like a bag of fake wow. D's. Oh yeah, it does. So what in the like hell our, would you do with it? Maybe you paint plus. them. <laughs> Or I you get, ma- paint them, I Paint guess. them or put them out with your garden gnomes. Oh, yeah. You could paint them <sighs> yeah. colorful and put them oh, out yeah. with your gnomes. Or, or the fairy garden. Or maybe you're dragged mm-hmm. to Michael's by your wife and you're actually secretly gay and you just want a plastic bag full of ambiguously phallic wow. pieces of wood. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. pretty well, deep. Who doesn't have a fairy garden? <laughs> like, what a waste of time. That, that even a hoarder would throw away? Yeah. That little bag of... Even a hoarder mushrooms. would be like, yeah. that's that too for? much. hoarder would toss them. <laughs> that goes for 10 bucks. Okay. Ooh. Moving along on sale. <laughs> to this, I'm calling it the Carmen Miranda planter slash mug. <laughs> it's like Chiquita uh, banana. Look at oh, that. Wow. No, yeah, that is Carmen Miranda for sure. Yep. It was, I thought, oh, it's a ceramic mug. It's a head. It's mm-hmm. a head with bananas and raspberries and strawberries and I guess apples. Her eyes were closed, and it and it's actually a little planter. Okay, I was gonna say that's big for a mug. Yeah, and it, it looks to be in there like a, be a summer crab section. Yeah. So would yeah. you put that on a on like your kitchen counter and throw fruit in it? Well, I the, don't... the only scenario I could come up with was a pen and pencil holder for a special ed class. <laughs> because look, if you, if you look uh, behind Greg on the shelf, hanging uh, mm-hmm. on the shelf behind him is uh, it's like a little bucket. What looks like uh, drinks, some kind of alcoholic beverages. Right, like a bucket and, of beer. And it says like in a neon looking, uh, like a neon <laughs> sign print. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Uh, Just in case you weren't sure. So how much for this yeah. Carmen Miranda planter mug thing? Uh, Ooh, oh. I'll say fifteen dollars. Poof. I'm gonna say twenty. That is uh, way off. What's it made I'll, of? Ceramic. It's. I'll say thirty-five. It's kind of like a foamy, t- hard foam. Oh. No, it's only forty nine ninety nine. Fifty oh, bucks. Wow. Fifty bucks. So you're, you're paying fifty dollars to make your house look tacky. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's I, a good I, deal. So like that makes me sad. But on the other hand, like there's some poor person in some country who made up ten thousand of these yeah. things. <laughs> only now, Greg, to be bought I'm, by some idiot housewife. I'm looking at your uh the way you're posing for your yeah, pictures I appreciate this squad I'm, 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 you trying got to, I'm trying to look like her and, and I can see why you kind of made the employees wonder what the hell was going on yeah yeah, yeah I'd be following this guy I, I, yeah. this guy's squatting this, in the eye at yeah. this point we're getting followed yeah if you flip to the next one this was yeah. right next to the Carmen Miranda mug uh, it is the yeah. it's a world's tiniest decorative Adirondack chair in bright pink <laughs> oh yeah oh. I've seen these it is as ugly as it is useless this yeah. is the kind of thing a woman named Deb would keep in her cubicle so, so this is a I mean, literally. This is a fairy garden thing, right? Yeah. So the fairies have a place to sit. Oh. Yeah. Or it could be cute on like a table for a pool party or something, and oh. you kind of have like yeah. decor on the table but, with all the but, chips and other things. Sammy gets it. And yeah. a random <laughs> chair. How would you know you were at a pool party unless someone bought a tiny Little chair? Tiny chairs. <laughs> Look, I, guess. I, defi- I definitely know people who have stuff for every occasion. Yes, I guess because so. they have. They've, okay, they've what's the occasion with this thing? Well, like, Sammy just told you. Yeah. Pool party. Kind of like pool Sammy party. said, yeah. Or maybe you put a doll on it. That's you what could, I said. Yeah. A fairy. Yeah. For oh, your oh, fairies. A fairy doll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, on the uh, on the wooden mushrooms. Yeah. Tech says, uh, with the mushrooms, I have my littles, who are between three and six years old, paint them and decorate the flower garden with them. Oh, yeah. all right. Cute. You know what decorates a flower garden? Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you need tchotchkes in yeah. there. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, the scenario I came up for the tiny Adirondack chair was... A woman named Deb, who she keeps it in her cubicle next to a fake cactus with sunglasses and a sombrero, yeah. and it's a reminder that she's going to Cabo in seven months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotta have goals. These go sense. for nineteen ninety nine. Ooh, yeah. twenty dollars. 
Yeah. Now we need a, a good chunk of time. Stuff with words. Moving on. Oh, this is. We the, have an Greg's assortment of things you might want. Okay. We have a wooden plaque with ugly Ooh. blue and orange stripes reminding you to enjoy the little things. Right. There's a really <laughs> big wooden sign in butter yellow reminding you that your happy place is home. Oh, God. There's a giant wooden spoon. Looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland. Gives you a quick reference guide on measuring stuff in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, and there's a wooden logical. plaque also reminding you to choose happy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Here's here's what that looks there's like. Endless signs up in these places. Choose depression. Was there any Jesus signs in there, or is that just that's Hobby, Hobby Lobby? Lobby. Yeah. This is as many as I could possibly like, hold. You, yeah. And I just took the average price was sixteen ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine okay. for this stuff. Like, what are you thinking when you buy the choose happy wooden sign for your house? <laughs> Well, they're usually cute in like a collage on the wall when there's like a oh. whole bunch of different <laughs> things all up on the wall. So, so it's like almost like a collage picture of different. But see, you Sammy, know. listen to Greg, yeah, a man with actual style. He tells you, yeah. no, it's not cute. It's cluttered and tacky. Yeah, there's yeah. so much to read. That sounds like Hell House. Like when I go to people's houses, <laughs> yeah. and they have like <laughs> clusters of things hung mm. on the wall. It's Can't just things I have no personality. Can't do it. Michael's is my personality. But yeah. you wouldn't have all of these with words oh. in the collage necessarily. It's also with pictures oh, and so other things. Oh, you yeah. them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got okay. it. Got so it. Greg Gorey is a secret cool. shopper at Michael's, and uh, he found another really useful sign. Right. This one for the laundry room. Check it out here. Oh, well, I guess it, if you get lost. I love yeah, laundry yes. room yeah, signs. Yeah, can't stop, <laughs> won't stop with <laughs> stuff with words. So crafty people like nothing more than being reminded of where they are in the house in case they forget where they are I'm while they're confused. standing there. Yeah, and this one says, loads of fun, laundry room, wash, dry, fold, repeat, self-service. Yes. Oh, wow. In case you weren't sure what, what you do in the laundry room. Yep. Right, and if you don't know you're in the kitchen, there's a word that says eat or a sign that says sit for the living room or uh, sure. for the bedroom. Dream. And this sign is not yeah. small either, Greg. Uh -huh. No, this is big. No, it's massive. Yeah. Now, if you were standing in the room and that sign wasn't there, would you know what to do? No, no. not See, with the washer and dryer there. Very That's helpful. a whimsy. Now, how much for that sign, Greg? Well, first of all, Woody, in the photo for you, I'm, I'm pointing to my crotch because oh, it, it says loads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First of all, yeah. loads. This sign is only fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. Wow. It's one foot by three. Bucks. If you're again, you're, this is what women do. They just waste money on things you don't need and look bad. Right. This is a cute sign. Listen it to Greg. really is. I do like <laughs> okay, it. Okay, now, Greg, can I ask you a question before we wrap up the segment? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a new throw pillow for my couch. <laughs> well, how about? And, I'm, and I would really like something that when I have company over, when I'm when I'm hosting guests, I want them to know that they are welcome. That they're welcome. Cozy. And I want them to well, feel at Woody, ease. Woody, I have the product for you. Do they is, have anything there? It is the Stay A While Pillow. Oh, Ooh. look at that. <laughs> it simply says Stay A While with uh, greenery so. surrounding it. And it would be perfect, I think. In a guest bedroom that has an ornately carved dark wood finished sleigh bed with a plaid quilt, a rocking chair, and one of those framed American flags folded into a triangle. Uh, yeah. Let's bring it all together. This goes for thirty four oh, ninety nine. So welcoming. Yeah. And then I, oh. I would like Sammy, to. Sammy, you are the mom station's wet dream yeah. of an employee. <laughs> oh, like we just pump her wet for cash. Dream. Have, have I not said that before? She would be a superstar. She, yeah, she's on the wrong photo <laughs> format. We, we know this. Oh, for sure. But I like hanging she, out with you guys. I know. Oh, <laughs> man. I get it. But don't you want to be a millionaire? Wet <laughs> dream, Sammy. You can make so much money. Yeah. Let's flip through to the last picture on your packet. Oh, this is, okay. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't oh, need wow. this? This again for your pool party. So this falls under the category of utterly useless and tacky outdoor decor. <laughs> no. This would emblazon your front yard, I imagine. The oh, giant popsicle. Oh, double sticks. All right. That you stick into the double ground sticks. with metal spikes. That's got to be, be at least two and a half feet tall. It's... Very tall, and with spikes, maybe even, I don't know, three and a half to four feet. Wow. I thought of two scenarios, yeah. if you want this. A okay. kid's party, yes. yep. summer yep. party, yep. Yep. obviously. Yep. Or a landmark for your lawn, so you can tell your dementia-riddled grandma <laughs> to look for that landmark and just say, look for the giant fake popsicle. Wow, yeah. that's not nice. Now, does the uh, oh. pink flamingo that you're standing next to, does that come with it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, but I did pose it there. Yeah. This well giant, ugly, fake, yes. gay popsicle. popsicle. <laughs> Can be yours for forty nine ninety nine. Wow! Uh, it sounds like it's fifty and below. <laughs> right. I know, right? <laughs> the store. Just bring your coupons, you guys. And yeah, the, just bring that. your Michael's coupons. Yep. And for funsies, I put in there somewhere. There's, you'll find a picture of me with some blue flowers that literally don't exist in nature. And then the employee <laughs> lurking up behind me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to get so, out, right? <laughs> are you going to send me all these photos, Greg? Yes, here. All right, yeah, good. Good. I want a great uh, secret shopper, you guys. I but hey, great for them. paint. 
Yeah, we will follow up with the uh, with the pictures, and of course, uh, we'll have some video that Vaughn's got, and uh, mm-hmm. you'll be able to see all this ridiculous stuff. All right, good. Wow. I mean, really, even though we're ripping on it, Michaels couldn't even afford that much advertising. <laughs> yeah, because there's people like Santa. Because like the, the point of the segment, like Greg said, should be don't, stop doing this. Yeah, why are you buying How, this? That's yeah. a good question. But all of a sudden, it's amped up Sammy. <laughs> How crowded is <laughs> yeah. yeah. the store? I want yeah. the she's, laundry room sign. Yeah. She's created a new <laughs> wish list. <laughs> yeah. Is the store busy? Yeah. Uh, not that busy. Okay. And wondering. shockingly, it was 100% women. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. kidding. Weird. Weird. Whatever. Yeah.